Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about pediatric dosage calculations with examples. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. First example, a one-year-old child weighing 22 lb needs an oral suspension for an infection at a dose of 40 mg per kilogram per day in two divided doses. The suspension is available at a concentration of 400 mg per 5 ml. How many ml should be administered by the nurse to the child for each dose? To begin with, here the desired dose is 40 mg. Available dose is 400 mg. Quantity is 5 ml. Rate is given in LBs, that is 22 LBs. Remember, 1 kg is equal to 2.2 LBs. So, in order to convert LBs to kg, we divide 22 by 2.2 which gives answer 10 and so the weight will be 10 kilogram. Now the formula to perform calculation is x is equal to desired dose multiplied by quantity multiplied by body weight in kilogram divided by available dose which is equal to 40 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 10 divided by 400 which gives the answer 5 ml so 2 divided doses is equal to 5 ml divided by 2 which gives 2.5 ml so the nurse will administer 2.5 ml for each dose now we will work with the same example using another method for calculation a one-year-old child weighing 22 lb needs an oral suspension for an infection at a dose of 40 mg per kg per day in two divided doses. The suspension is available at a concentration of 400 mg per 5 ml. How many ml should be administered by the nurse to the child for each dose? So as we have mentioned previously, we are converting the weight from pounds to kilogram first. So 1 kg is equal to 2.2 lb and weight in kilogram will be 22 lb divided by 2.2 which gives 10 kg so weight of the child will be 10 kilogram now what we do is we calculate the total daily dose and we will be obtaining this by multiplying 40 mg per kg per day by weight that is 10 kg which gives 400 mg per day but as mentioned in the example the drug should be given in two divided doses so we have to determine the dose per administration so we are dividing the total daily dose by 2 that is 400 mg per day by 2 which gives 200 mg per dose and hence the dose we need to give is 200 mg after all these steps we are going to administer the volume using the formula what we need by what we have multiplied by stock volume here what we need is 200 mg which we calculated before what we have is the available dose that is 400 mg and the stock volume is the quantity that is 5 ml which is equal to 200 mg divided by 400 mg multiplied by 5 ml which gives the answer 2.5 ml let's do another example a medication is prescribed for a six-year-old child weighing 14 kilogram for meningitis at a dose of 100 milligram per kg iv once daily after reconstitution the concentration of the medication solution in the vial is 40 mg per ml. 
how many ml should be administered by the nurse to this child for each dose to begin with desired dose is 100 mg available dose is 40 mg per ml weight is 14 kg now the formula is x is equal to desired dose multiplied by body weight in kg divided by drug concentration which is equal to 100 multiplied by 14 divided by 40 which gives the answer 35 ml so the nurse will administer 35 ml of the medication few examples for your practice a 1.5 year old child weighing 20 lb needs an oral suspension for an infection at a dose of 30 mg per kg per day in two divided doses The suspension is available at a concentration of 300 mg per 5 ml. How many ml should be administered by the nurse to the child for each dose? Next example is a medication is prescribed for a 5 year old child weighing 12 kg for meningitis at a dose of 90 mg per kg IV once daily. After reconstitution The concentration of the medication solution in the vial is 30 mg per ml. How many ml should be administered by the nurse to this child for each dose? You can do the calculation and mention the answers in the comment box. So here you go with pediatric dosage calculations explained with examples. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.